Hi, uh, it's Andrew Miller again with Cool Koala Productions, and we're here with uh, Paul Howell, who is the creator of Stop Motion Pro, the animation program. And uh, when did you start the actual um, company? Uh, started quite a while ago now, it's about 12 yeah. years ago, 98, we started. And uh, back then there was really nothing available uh, to, to film stop motion animation uh, on, the, on the computer easily, so, and inexpensively. And so we saw a, a need for that, and uh, we, we built the software so I could make a film, and I still haven't got around to making it yet. So that's the real long-term goal, is to finish a film. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, where is your, uh, your company located right now? It's We're in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Is there a big uh, stop-motion scene out in Australia? Th there is a scene. It's mm -hmm. quite small. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, uh, Melbourne's uh, very similar to uh, Montreal mm -hmm. in that it's, it's uh, a very artistic kind of city and it's, uh, it's, it is the home of, of stop-motion in Australia. So yeah. um, Adam Elliott, who made Mary and Max and right. Harvey Crumpet, uh, he's virtually just around the corner, so oh, really? um, yeah, there's there is a, a history there. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of Adam Elliott, are there any other um, big name companies that are like large film producers that have used your program? Uh, there, are, <clears throat> we have um, in in the UK, mm -hmm. uh, we have Ardman Animations, who are famous for Wallace and Gromit, and uh, they've got a new film Pirates, which is coming out next year, and that's all their commercial work now is shot with Stop Motion Pro, and so there's a lot of TV commercials that you see in the US that they produce in Bristol and they're shot with our software as well. So, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the Pirates film is coming out in March and that's very exciting uh, oh. to be involved in that production. What would you say uh, about your program that makes it stand out uh, for other um, stop motion programs that are out there now? There are a few. Um, I think there's Dragon, High Stop. Um, I'm not sure of too many, too many others, but what makes yours stand out? Uh, we have uh, extended functionality mm -hmm. in the software, and one of the, the key uh, differences would have to be our editing tool. Yeah. And how that works is uh, the, the frames are all displayed in the thumbnail view. You can copy, paste, uh, reverse, duplicate, um, basically move your frames around any way you want. And uh, the, the real advantage is the animators can change timing. Uh, it's non-destructive, so they can go back and set their uh, shot up how it was originally, exactly as how it was first captured. But they can play with the timing and uh, let the director see uh, different timings very easily of the animation. So uh, that would have to be one of the, the real key differences between us and anyone else. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would you say, since you just did a short animation in that presentation, uh, what is the most difficult part of like uh, the editing process or like even the animating process? Yeah, well, it, it's it's so complicated and, and it depends how far you want to go with your production. Mm -hmm. And um, generally, the more planning you do, uh, the, the better the results. So mm -hmm. try and plan a little bit before you actually hit the uh, hit the animation table and grab the plasticine. Good idea to have at least some idea of what's happening, but generally. Don't be afraid to do multiple takes. So if you, you, do, you film it once, just do it again straight away, and you usually find it's much better the second time. So stop motion characters uh, are a little different to live action actors, for example, where with a live action actor you you, you rely on things like face, an expression of eyebrows, and the, the tone of voice and uh, body language. And in stop motion, you might be limited to some extent. Uh, your puppet might not have eyebrows, for instance, or it might not even have a face. And so you're, you're, to express character, you have unique challenges. And so you have to use, uh, I guess, those limitations that you might find as actual um, assets or advantages. So uh, if you have a very simple puppet, you might have to uh, focus on the, the body movement of that puppet to convey sadness or happiness or joy or whatever emotion it is you're, you're trying to portray. So, um, yeah, character in stop motion is very much about working with the limitations and uh, treating them not as limitations but as the assets that you can, you can use. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you were shooting in 24 frames a second uh, and you were taking uh, two shots. Wouldn't that just be shooting uh, at 12 frames a second, technically? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, um, yeah so 
there's always that issue of how many frames you capture per yeah. movement. And two frames um, per movement mm -hmm. seems to be fairly acceptable in the industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you're running at 24 frames a second or 30 frames a second, mm -hmm. people generally shoot twos. But when you have fast action, yeah. you want a higher frame rate, so you'll go to ones. Mm -hmm. Or if your camera's panning or your shot's moving, you really want to shoot at ones. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that, that, that stops the stuttering effect. Uh, but in the software just recently, we added uh, the ability to shoot at 60 frames a second. Okay, so, and um, live action directors like James Cameron are mm -hmm. uh, pushing for uh, frame rates like that. Oh, yeah, and the new Hobbit movie. Yeah, yeah the new Hobbit movie. Yeah. And, and uh, when you try and shoot stop motion at, at that frame rate, it's, mm -hmm. um, it becomes, it's, it's becomes very liquid and mm -hmm. uh, you lose all the stutter from the animation completely and it's mm -hmm. possible to have amazingly smooth animation mm -hmm. and uh, we're excited to see people exploring filming stop motion at, at, at ultra high frame rates like mm -hmm. that uh, to achieve really smooth results. So yeah. actually interesting. Um, is there any last like words of wisdom that you'd have for uh, anyone who's looking to start out and uh, creating stop motion animation? Yeah, well, I guess the, the all I'd want to say is don't do what I did, which is spend 10 years planning your film and never actually getting around to making it. The, the trick is to uh, keep your ideas simple mm -hmm. and focus on character, the characters you're creating, and uh, try and keep the things like the puppets and sets uh, clean and simple so you get that film made. Mm -hmm. Get the film made. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, well, thank Thanks. you so much thank for you. this interview. Thank you.